you'll grab your new chuck out of your box, slide it on, quarter turn, tighten it up and you're ready to run. Well, I got to say, uh, I'm a little bit upset. I mean, you lied to me. You said five minutes. That was about 30 seconds. Ah, man. Jared, how are we doing today, my friend? Doing well. How are you? Uh, you know, my back is hurting. I was walking around this trade show yesterday, and I was, I was lifting up, you know, things that were probably too heavy for me, <laughs> which is perfect timing because I know a story from Heimbook America where you guys saved over a million dollars in insurance from someone leaning into a turning center all day, every day, or a full company doing it and filing claims for a bad back, and you've automated that system, which is kind of what we're looking at today, right? Yeah, it's a lot of work to change out a chuck and we've gone ahead and simplified that. So uh, this is our Centratex unit. What it allows you to do is quick change chucks on and off the machine, five minutes or less. You don't have to sit here and re-indicate the machine. It does need to be dialed back in. Once the chuck is put on the, the bayonet adapter here, it's ready to run. Immediately, Jared, so many things popping in my head, just like the audience as well. When you talk about being able to switch it in less than five minutes or five minutes, we're automatically talking about less downtime, right? When you talk about not needing to check and make sure it's perfect every time because it is, and that's what Heimbook's known for, that's another step of being fully automated and getting things running. As the cliche sta statement goes, if you're not making chips, you're not making money, right? Absolutely. And you guys have adapted to that. I would like to start at the beginning how we started this conversation as well and I know we're going to show the audience how this works also but it really is true where people every day all day around the country utilize the Heimbook product because of the physical nature of what it took to shift these heavy units and these units maybe not specifically this but Heimbook in general can be utilized in both turning centers and milling centers which we're going to talk about on another video yep. so let's just talk about the automation purposes and why you guys are so focused on the world of automation because this is the now, not just the future, isn't sure. it? Absolutely. You know, I think we've all seen a shift in this industry moving towards automation. Uh, what the Centratex unit allows you to do uh, in certain cases is uh, you can automate the, the changeover of the work holding with the robot to where you can change out clamping heads, end stops, and then with an ID mandrel such as the one on the machine right here, you can change the entire mandrel out of the machine, put a new one on, and run completely lights out. You've one of my favorite things to talk about and see in person. Our friend of Tony Saloum over at VAC Motorsports showed me how quickly he could do that and how much money he's making from that. So with that being said, we've talked about most of the key important notes, right? Can we see how it works? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to take your microphone from you. I'll hold it for you as you demo what's going on and explain to the audience what you're doing. Yeah, so the first thing we'll do, this specific unit has one knob. Um, you'll take this and you'll just loosen that until it stops. It's a quarter turn on the chuck. The chuck will come off. We'll just set it over here for now. You'll grab your new chuck out of your box, slide it on, quarter turn, tighten it up and you're ready to run. Well, I gotta say, uh, I'm a little bit upset. I mean, you lied to me. You said five minutes. That was about 30 seconds. Well, I've done it a few times. <laughs> You're the pro here, right? <laughs> Is there any closing statements for the audience that you'd like to kind of help them understand about the Heimbook product? Because I've had the great uh, a privilege to go to the headquarters in Germany and do a tour and see that it's not just products off the shelf, but you guys definitely go into products that are custom. And you do a lot of those. You are inventors of so many products. A patent that lasted for years and years, and then everyone's like, I I want it too. I want it too. So you guys kind of are the leaders when it comes to this type of technology. So are there any messages that you would like to close out with for them today? Sure. Um, you know, one of the important things about the Centratex, as much as we'd like you to put Heimbuch product on the Centratex unit, it doesn't have to be. You know, a lot of shops out there have invested a lot of money in, in their existing work holding, and we can take pretty much all of it and adapt it onto our Centratex. So you don't have to go out and say I have to replace all of my current work holding with Heimbuch's work holding, we can adapt your work holding to put on our unit. Um, and they can be large three jaw chucks and they can be small ID mandrels, they can be face drivers, um, it all works. And it's all got to go in the machine and we figured out a way to adapt it all to the same spindle. That's 
incredibly impressive because I guarantee you there's somebody watching, probably tens of tens, maybe thousands of thousands of people watching right now going, well, I like the technology, but what's the investment if I already have all of this product, right? right. And you have now adapted to be able to either continue to upgrade that through Heimbook or utilize what's currently there so they don't have to invest whatever amount of dollars right away, right? Right. Perfect, Jared. Jared, you are privileged to talk to. You, my friend, are now officially off the hot seat. <laughs> and we're going to turn to the audience and say thank you all for watching as well. We appreciate your time as time is the most valuable thing. And as much fun as Jared was today, we'll see if we can get him on camera again a little bit later. What do we think? Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I like that answer.